Okay, quick question. Does your monitor feel slower than your grandma trying to reply to a text with one finger? If yes, chances are you're still stuck on a 60 hertz screen while your friends are flexing with 240 hertz. But don't panic. Today we're going to break down every single type of refresh rate monitor, from the humble 60 hertz all the way up to the ridiculously fast 540 hertz. And I'll explain it all in the easiest way possible. Let's start with the OG of refresh rates, 60 and 75 hertz. For decades, 60 hertz has been the standard. Office monitors, laptops, school computers, all stuck at 60 hertz. And for things like browsing, watching movies, or scrolling through cat memes, it's totally fine. But once you start gaming, you'll notice it's not quite as smooth as you might hope. Motion blur, ghosting, and that little laggy feeling when moving your mouse quickly. Yeah, that's the 60 hertz life. Then there's 75 hertz. Think of it like 60 hertz after drinking one energy drink. It's slightly faster, but most people won't really notice the difference unless they compare side by side. If you're not a gamer and just want a reliable display for work or media, 60 hertz or 75 hertz monitors are great. They're cheap, easy to find, and don't need powerful hardware. Next up, we've got 120 hertz. This refresh rate has become the sweet spot for players using PS5s and Xbox Series Xs. Most of those consoles are designed around hitting 120 frames per second in competitive games, which means you actually get to see smoother, clearer motion without massive lag. A 120 hertz monitor is like getting your first taste of smooth gaming. Once you switch from 60 hertz, you'll notice how clean and responsive it feels. Moving your camera in shooters becomes effortless, racing games feel faster, and everything just feels more alive. And the best part, 120 hertz monitors aren't that expensive anymore. You can grab one for not much more than a standard 60 hertz screen, and the visual upgrade is night and day. Now let's talk about 144 hertz. 144 hertz is the refresh rate you'll see everywhere in gaming setups. It's the perfect balance between performance and affordability, and most modern GPUs can handle it easily. Gamers love 144 hertz because it's a massive jump in smoothness compared to 60 hertz. Aiming, shooting, driving, everything feels faster and more responsive. Even your desktop animations will look like they're glowing gliding instead of skipping. It's also the sweet spot for competitive games like Valorant, CS2, or Fortnite. You'll feel like your reflexes got buffed, not because you're better, but because your screen's keeping up with you. In short, if you're a gamer on a budget or upgrading from 60 hertz, 144 hertz is a must have. All right, let's start flexing a little. The 165 hertz. 165 hertz is what you get when manufacturers said, hmm, what if we overclock 144 hertz just a bit and call it a new model? And it worked because it sounds cooler. 165 hertz gives you a little extra smoothness. It's not mind blowing, but noticeable if you're into fast shooters or esports. It's like your monitor had a shot of espresso compared to 144 hertz. Also, many modern um, 144 hertz panels are now factory tuned to reach 165 hertz so you're basically getting the best of both worlds. Two extra perks. The price difference between 144 hertz and 165 hertz is usually small, and most GPUs that can handle 144 hertz will easily hit 165 hertz too, so you're not losing performance. All right, now things start getting intense. 240 hertz. 240 hertz is where your monitor stops being a screen and starts becoming a weapon. This is the sweet spot for competitive esports players. Games like Valorant, CS2, Overwatch, and Apex Legends feel unbelievably smooth at 240 hertz. You're seeing the game refresh 240 times a second, meaning every movement, flick, and bullet trail looks incredibly crisp. To put it simply, 240 hertz lets you react faster. It's not just visual smoothness, it's about input response. Your actions show up faster, making milliseconds matter, and, and in competitive gaming, milliseconds are everything. Of course, the catch? Your GPU needs to push 240 frames per second consistently. If you're running heavy AAA titles like Cyberpunk at ultra settings, yeah, good luck with that. All right, buckle up. This is where stuff gets too insane. 360 hertz. 
360 hertz monitors are what happens when engineers say, let's see how far we can push reality. At 360 hertz, your display refreshes six times faster than a 60 hertz monitor. That's insane. It's so smooth, you'll feel like your game is happening inside your head. Professional esports players absolutely love 360 hertz because the difference, while small, is still noticeable at that level. We're talking microseconds of advantage. Seeing an enemy pixel appear slightly sooner, reacting slightly faster, but for normal humans, um, aka everyone else, it's mostly bragging rights. You can't see every frame, but you can feel it, the responsiveness, the clarity, and the total lack of delay. Let's talk about 480 hertz. 480 hertz monitors are where things stop making sense for most people. At this point, we're beyond human reaction speed, but hey, it's still awesome. 480 hertz literally refreshes the screen 480 times a second. It's not about visual difference anymore. It's about reducing latency to the lowest possible level. Every input feels instant, like your mouse is telepathically connected to the screen. Now here's the catch, there aren't many GPUs that can actually push 480 frames per second in modern games. You'd need to play lighter esports titles like CS2, Valorant, or Overwatch 2 on low settings. Here it is, the final boss of refresh rates, 540 hertz. If 60 hertz was the grandpa, 540 hertz is the cyborg grandson that can see the future. This is currently one of the highest refresh rates commercially available, and it's absolutely wild. 540 hertz displays can literally show nine times more frames per second than a 60 hertz screen. That means motion clarity so high, you'll think your monitor's reading your mind, professional play Players say it feels unreal, and tracking feels effortless, flick shots are lightning fast, and input delay is almost non-existent. But the reality is, you're paying for marginal gains. Your system needs to push 500 plus FPS to actually use that refresh rate, which is nearly impossible in most modern games. Whether you're using a Grandpa 60 Hertz or a lightning fast 540 Hertz screen, the goal is the same, to enjoy what's in front of you. If this video helped you understand monitors better, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe because I've got plenty more tech explained the easy way without the boring nerd talk.